This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Bail was set at $1 million for a man accused of killing an 8-year-old girl in a collision in Afreda. Washington Trust Bank and Afreda showed their support for Grant County emergency personnel with a barbecue on Friday. Members of the Grant County Economic Development Council met the new Grant PUD General Manager Kevin Nord during their quarterly luncheon on Thursday at the Columbia Basin Technical Skills Center. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Bail was set at $1 million for a man accused of killing an 8-year-old girl in a collision in Afreda. Prosecutors charged Neil McLeod, a 36-year-old Afreda resident, in Grant County Superior Court with manslaughter in the first degree and four counts of vehicular assault. Eight members of the Grant County Sheriff's Office and Afreda Police were in attendance during the hearing on Friday. According to the Sheriff's Office, McLeod reportedly used methamphetamine earlier in the day before trying to steal a vehicle from a Knob Hill Drive resident. An afraid a police officer reportedly spotted McLeod driving a Dodge Durango in the area. The police officer began following McLeod's vehicle and reportedly noticed the suspect was driving at a high rate of speed on D Street Northeast as he approached the intersection of Division Street. When McLeod reportedly hit the passenger side of a Chevrolet pickup truck, 8-year-old Audrey Grubb, riding in the bed of the truck, was thrown from the vehicle and hit her head. She was transported to Columbia Basin Hospital, where she later died. Two other people in the truck, Justin Grubb, a 33-year-old afraid of man, and his girlfriend, Elizabeth Mills, a 35-year-old East Wenatchee resident, were injured in the collision. Grubb, a corrections deputy with the sheriff's office, was released from the hospital on Thursday. Mills remains at the Spokane Hospital. This is Joe Utter for i Fiber One News. Washington Trust Bank and Afreda showed their support for Grant County emergency personnel with a barbecue on Friday. Grant County law enforcement, firefighters, paramedics, and county officials attended the event outside the Grant County Courthouse. Washington Trust Bank branch manager Jeff Mackey, who has experience in law enforcement and attended the police academy with new Moses Lake Police Chief Kevin Fuhrer, complimented the work of law enforcement in the county. Well, we've been seeing a lot of stuff on the news nationwide and just thought, you know, it'd be kind of good. We have a really great law enforcement here, quality, and so we don't have some of the stuff we see across the country. And I thought, you know, it'd be kind of our way of getting back to the community, you know, just feed them lunch. So just call their home office and have people come out and set this up for them. It's all for them. We're, we're kind of lucky. We live in a small community, and um, we have great, great support here. So. Mackey took a moment to personally thank everyone who attended the event, and he said he was pleased with the turnout. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Members of the Grant County Economic Development Council met the new Grant PUD General Manager Kevin Nord during their quarterly luncheon on Thursday at the Columbia Basin Technical Skills Center. Nord succeeded Tony Webb, who stepped down as General Manager last month, and presented an update on the current status of the PUD and which directions the utility is looking to go over the next few years. Now, if you're served by us, uh, as I said, on the residential side, the average price is of five cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, over the last number of years, we know that has gone up as we've made investments in the system, particularly rehabilitating the Priest Rapids project. So that is a crown jewel asset, and about every 50 years or so, you have to make investments in it. It is about the lowest cost power producer in the nation, and should be in good shape for the long haul. We're very close to the tail end of uh, the improvements there, but we are going to continue to try to work very hard to keep the prices low and stable. Nord also answered questions and debunked a few assumptions of the PUD, which he said had been gaining notoriety over the past few months. Is Grant County out of power? That's kind of an interesting question. I came from uh, the investor owned utility world before, and that was never kind of a question that ever I could see. You know, out of power. No, just would lend in additional resources and stuff. And we are not. We are not tapped out at Priest Rapids. And even if we were, uh, we are doing long term resource planning. But we have a significant amount of headroom still for firm energy on the Priest Rapids project to grow into, which positions us well. And, and that low cost, very clean base resource for the long haul positions us well. Nor will be at the next Grand PUD Board of Commissioners meeting on July 26th. In Moses Lake, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News.
This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.